Well, welcome back to part two of Let's Play Super Paper Mario, and uh, let me get my voice ready. <clears throat> Black! Your princess has been taken by Count Black. You wait by who? That was a nice little bow there. By me, Count Black. The chosen executor of the Dark Pronosticus is Count Black. The fine fellow prophesied to come to this dimension is also Count Black. I'll tell you, doesn't even make a bit of sense. Count Black, <laughs> fag. Enough. Release Princess Peach now. I'm on a schedule over here. Count Black says never. I like to talk in third person. This princess is integral to fulfilling the prophecies. She will be brought to Castle Black and used to destroy all worlds. By none other than Count Black. Destroy all worlds. Ugh. What the fuck? Why didn't that do anything? Oh no, a vortex. Bye bye, Mario. Bowser's just like, what the fuck? This man deserves ridicule. Weaklings cannot face Count Black. Hey, here's a thought. You, calm down and free the princess, or else. Ooh, he's got his army. <laughs> Your princess shall not be returned by Count Black. In fact, Bowser, evil king of the Koopas, Count Black will take you too. <laughs> Black. Mommy. Well, anyway. <laughs> Black. Count Black's preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear as foretold in the prophecy. Bleh! <laughs> Black! <laughs> okay. After that, um, overemphasized voice acting. Ooh, I really wish I had some water right now. That was a little overdone. So, this butterfly chick just comes out of nowhere. Are you awake? Yes, I'm awake. I'm standing straight up. My name is Tippy. I am what is known as a pixel, a sort of fairy. Mario, I came to find you. Ooh, let's kill him. I am no enemy. You met Count Black, and he captured a princess and an evil king. Is this not so? Yes, it is. I believe you. Okay, maybe I won't kill you. Then that means Count Black is now even beginning to fill whatever, the void, yeah. We talked about this already. So, okay, to save them, we must go with her and fulfill the prophecy, woohoo. And so our story begins. Bye bye, Bowser statue. Now, more plot. It's a T. Hello, Merlin. Why don't you go comb your beard? Who might this be? Mario. Everyone knows who he is. Me? Me? I'm not Mario. Flip side, you see, is between dimensions. And this is Merlin. Pretty swell guy. Also quite useless, though. Just sits around reading books. Alright, so that purple thing's a void. Gonna swallow everything up. Gets bigger over time. That's basically the gist of it. I'm very disappointed that there's so much plot. Because the plot's gonna take up a lot of time. So, anyway... In that little uh, time span where Mario was asleep and then Tippy woke him up, I believe that's where the intro cutscene would take place. So the Chaos Heart at this point has been born, and so the Void is going to suck everything up, and Mario must collect the eight pure hearts to save everything. 
but since in every Mario, uh, in all the Paper Mario games, you gotta find seven mystical objects, so of course you're gonna get the first one, leaving you seven to find, and then an eighth chapter, um, concerning your fight with Count Black. Now, if you answer nah, you just get a game over. And I'd, I'd show it off to you, but we just spent an episode and a half going through all this plot, so I'm not doing I'm not watching this again. Take this! Yay, it's a heart. And with every, every time you get one of these, you gotta find a heart pillar, and it'll point you in the direction of the next pure heart. Just like Thousand Year Door, kind of. Very, very similar. Okay, she says to go left. We know how to move. Alright, but I'm gonna save some time and go right. No. Yep, see, we would have went to a, a floor below this if we went left and took an elevator down. Then we would have had to go right and take an elevator up and get here. But I figured jumping off the edge would be much quicker. And please note that you will have to go to a different heart pillar each time you find a new pure heart. So in that sense, it's a bit different from the Thousand Year Door, because then you were just going to the same old place, not really exploring the depths of uh, road port sewers. So you gotta look all over flip side to get these things. Luckily they're not too hard to find. And the doors will appear in the colors of the rainbow, one for each chapter. Red, then orange, then yellow, then green, you know, Roy Z Biv. Now we're gonna go back to Merlin. So now I'll show you the uh, main part of Flipside, at least I believe it to be the main part. Go down this little elevator. And you will emerge down here. There's an inn where you can sleep. That's the elevator that leads up to where we were in the beginning. That's a save block. Okay, we know how to save the game. Okay, I'm already running out of time. Still have like, we only have a, oh, Merlin is out. Oh, that's right, we have to go all the way back up here. I don't like going up this elevator or down it, just because it takes so much time. You have to watch this stupid little scene which I know it's not that long, but for an impatient person like me, it's hours. So we're back. And so each time you get a pure heart, you'll take it to a heart pillar, and then it'll open a new door, and you go in that door, find the next heart, uh, pure heart, and so on and so forth. We have got the return pipe, which will let us get back to this exact spot. Bots, anytime we want. <clears throat> so, we need, first we need to learn a technique from Bestovius, uh, which I don't know. It's pretty. It should be obvious what it's going to be. But if you haven't played this game before, I won't spoil it. Characters. All we have is Mario right now. Items. No items. And the middle thing is going to be for pixels. We do have Tippy, but she's a different kind of pixel. Important things, return pipe, chapters, look at the different chapters. This is kind of like prologue, I guess. And we'll get more options as we proceed. Right now, let's go to chapter one. I'll show it off to you for like, oh no, I won't. I guess I'll show you this cutscene then instead. Blah, black, the void has been ripped into, in, oh, whoa, 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 that was awful. I'm just gonna go, <clears throat> I don't know if I can do this. Yes, Count Black is pleased. All has gone as foretold in the Dark Prognosticus. Now it's just a matter of time until all worlds meet their demise. Black! Wow, that's just super count. Yeah! First you'll erase all these naughty worlds, and then you're gonna build a perfect world without war and all that other icky stuff. Yes, yes, no one likes the icky stuff. Yes, a perfect world sounds magical. Ha ha ha, I can hardly stand the weight. Sorry I'm late. 
What the fuck? What in blazing bog rats? How to beat myself here? What's going on? No, 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 not feeling it. Okay, this person can change into other people. Your typical doppelganger. E. You can't fool me with that crazy chef shift and hooliganery. It's Mimi, isn't it? Show a little respect for the count. You can't go a borrow in his face, lass. No, and that's gonna get really annoying really quickly. <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. Almost as dapper as Count Black. Oh, gal, Count. With you around, it's nothing but big smiles all the time. Oh my god, we are out of time. I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>